on Money Matters this week. Good evening and welcome to another episode of Money Matters with me, Tamina Kaustri. Good afternoon on the 24th of February, our lead stories are... Now here is the Proton X50. Apa kabar, Nona followers? Thank you so much for having me. I'm Tamina Kauzji and hari ini kita akan bincang all things beauty routine and so much more. And as for them, sebenarnya saya mengalami eczema daripada kecil. So memang skincare them um, limited sangat-sangat. Basically, apa yang them boleh guna untuk skincare adalah apa yang dermatologis bagi them, uh, including them punya moisturizer, cleanser dengan sunscreen. So in that arena, mm, tak ada pilihan banyak lah nak pilih uh, brand mana yang I paling suka. Tapi luckily for makeup, that's where I can basically use um, whatever I want. Um, so from Sephora, a, car, a few of my current favorites include, I've got a Stella Stay All Day Foundation. Biasanya tem akan campurkan half cup Stella dengan half cup of Max Strobe Cream and that becomes my base. As for tem punya mata panda, <laughs> my favorite is definitely Tarte's Shape Tape yang I guna quite sparingly, just around the insides together with the outside. Uh, lepas tu, my most, most, most important uh, product definitely is for eyebrows and I love Shu Emora's um, Hard Eyebrow Pencil. Um, to top it off, a little bit of Dandelion by Benefit. Okay, so cara penjagaan rambut um, senang sangat sebab tem of course as you can see tem ada pixie cut. Um, dulu actually uh, tem punya rambut panjang, panjang sampai pinggang <laughs> and I gradually went shorter and shorter over the years. Um, I rasa rambut ni uh, memang sesuai sangat dengan tem punya lifestyle because I'm a really active person. Tapi untuk um, jagakan rambut uh, baik-baik especially sebab I guna banyak hair, styling as well as wax as products together with back combing. Um, hari-hari bila tem basuh rambut, I actually akan pakai hair mask sebagai conditioner. So that's my number one pro tip untuk jaga rambut yang pendek. So biasanya Pam akan stick to a schedule uh, which is I akan uh, bersenam almost every day of the week. So dalam seminggu, dua atau tiga kali, Pam akan allocate for weighted workouts. Lepas tu, roughly dua kali seminggu, Pam akan buat cardio, um, skipping ataupun plyometric exercises. And last last, dua kali seminggu, buat yoga ataupun um, stretching exercises macam pilates, untuk macam just relax, tenangkan badan and just, you know, focus and recenter. Um, aside from that, apa yang paling penting tem, tem rasa, uh, especially masa kita semua work from home dan masa PKP, adalah to uh, basically get enough of sleep, um, elakkan uh, uh, too much of screen time, which of course is really hard in my line of work, tapi kita try lah. And um, also the other thing is, I'm um, trying not to eat so much of junk food. Um, so then memang suka also as a way of uh, relaxing and uh, DIY, <laughs> I like to do meal prep. Tapi meal prep biasanya tem um, hanya ada masa untuk meal prep um, hari Ahad. So hari Ahad tem akan buat macam batch cooking. Uh, so batch cooking biasanya I pilih uh, apa yang senang untuk masak dalam big portion. For example, uh, chicken soup, ataupun pasta, uh, ataupun uh, even like macam steamed sweet corn dengan uh, ubi. And that's basically what you can get as easy to eat snacks or easy to eat meals throughout the week. Especially bila kita work from home. Thank you so much. Terima kasih banyak Nona followers um, for inviting me for this talk. Hope there were plenty of tips that you can also learn from masa kita semua work from home dalam BKP. Um, take care, stay home, stay safe.